Okay. So, I spent the last few videos talking about the Shema and the Via Hafta and what they meant, and I made this claim that the Via Hafta acts as a sort of genome for Judaism. Uh, so now I want to explain what I mean. So, this video is about what is a genome, and how is the Via Hafta a genome. Um, so Francis Crick and, uh, and his collaborators came up with this uh, thing that he called the central dogma of biology. And I, I often ponder why he used those terms, central dogma, because that's a very theistic term for an atheist, right, to talk about dogma, divine, divine word from God. Um, central dogma of biology has nothing to do with God, it has to do with the nucleus and um, the relationship between genotype and phenotype. So the central dogma says that it's a one-way relationship, that um, the genotype informs the phenotype. You've got a gene in the nucleus and it produces a protein and the information flows one way. It flows from the nucleus into the proteins, not the other way around. You can't look at a protein and translate it back into DNA, or the, the shape of the protein cannot affect the genome. It's only the genome that can affect the protein, right? So it's a claim about causality. That causality works in one direction, from the beginning to the end. Central dogma. I mean, that's a pretty dogmatic claim. Causality only works in one direction. Uh, I think it's probably true. Mm, probably. I thought maybe, but... Um, yeah, so that's, that's the central dogma. The central dogma is that genotype informs phenotype and not the other way around. The phenotype cannot affect the genotype. Um, and there's some good reasons for making this claim. Um, I've just been reading a lot of Gregory Bateson, and he has, he has a whole essay about, about why the central dogma has to be true. It's very interesting. Um, it, it keeps you from, from getting into evolutionary cul-de-sacs, basically. Um, so yeah, there's this central dogma of biology that says that the genotype produces the phenotype. And I guess what I am trying to figure out is what those two words mean. Because I think it's overly simplistic to say that the genotype is the nucleotides in the nucleus. That's not what the genotype is, that's what the nucleotides are, right? Like, that, that's, the, the name is not the name. The name of the name is not the name, right? So, the genome is not the particular crystals that are inside the cell. Just in the same way that the phenotype is not the particular proteins that make up the cell's body, right? The phenotype is all of the cell's behavior, everything that it has ever done or ever will do in the world, in time, that's its phenotype. Its phenotype is not some sort of like static, like, like, oh, trees have trunks and leaves. Their phenotype is leaves and trunks. No, 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 trees do tree. Their phenotype is a verb. <laughs> Phenotypes are verbs. Genotypes are verbs. Or maybe not. Maybe a genotype is a noun. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. I'm trying to figure it out. Figure it out with me? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so. Um, I think that the relationship between genotype and phenotype is more accurately captured by the relationship between the Via Hafta and Judaism or potentially the Tetragrammaton and God, Tetragrammaton and, and the Infinite, than with any kind of simple blueprint metaphor that you often see in introductory biology textbooks. Oh, the genome is the blueprint for the cell, right? There's a, you just look at the plans and then, and then oh, there's the, I built the, the airplane cell. It's not not the way it works. It's not the way that meaning works, right? Meaning comes into being through repetition. 
cells are these iterative processes, right? And this is why the central dogma is probably not true, is that it's not a one-way thing. Causality probably doesn't work just in this direction. It also, it's a circle, right? So, and it's, it's the act of repeating the genome, of, you know, constantly repeating it. It's that act of repetition that produces the phenotype, or that that act of repetition is the phenotype, right? So that's that's this relationship I'm trying to get at here is that the genome crystal is this this crystal thing, and but it doesn't it doesn't code for for things like it's a mistake to think that the gene for hemoglobin means hemoglobin right like you you look at those codons those actgs right and 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 you know the, the 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 central dogma says like oh you look at this gene it translates into hemoglobin like that gene must mean hemoglobin in some way like we're trying to give it an interpretation to it but the gene for hemoglobin doesn't mean hemoglobin it means breathing right that's what it means like when the cell is interpreting it it doesn't it doesn't you know, it's not responding to or think, I, you know, I can't anthropomorphize these cells, but it's like, there's, there's a meta function to all of this, or there's a meta meaning. And like, yeah, the individual codons refer to like particular amino acids, but like, there's another sense in which all of that stuff is not the point. Like the, the point is, is the continued process of repeating. Um, One day, I will say this all a lot clearer. This is all practice. This is all practice for for making these claims more more robust. Um, but I guess let's let's go back to the Via Hafta, right, and, and see what I mean there. So so there's there's this prayer, the Via Hafta, that I've recorded several hundred times on this channel, right. And to say that, like, so there's a translation between, like, these squiggles and words coming out of my mouth, and then it gets recorded by my webcam, and then it gets projected on your screen, and there's all these different translations, right? And we, we need to be careful when we're thinking about phenotype to, to just pay attention to meaning, because... You know, it would be easy for, you know, saying that that the gene for hemoglobin means this protein over here is very similar to saying that these words here mean the sounds that I'm making with my mouth here, right? Like, that's, that's just, tra that's just translate, like, you're, it's translation, but that's not, that's not where the meaning is. The meaning of these words is about God, right? It's about this nameless thing which can never, ever be captured in any physical form. That's what they mean. And every time I translate them, every time I move from Hebrew to English to sound to writing to video to whatever medium translation is occurring, right? That's a, that's a mapping. But the map is not the territory, and the territory is always beyond, right? That's God. So, so that's that's my critique for this genotype phenotype correspondence. Is that it's a mistake to think that like the genes in my body are coding for my body. They're not coding for my body. They're coding for me, and my body is just another representation of me in the same way that the tetragrammaton is just one of myriad representations of God. Yeah. So this prayer of the Via Hafta, it serves as a genome 
for this YouTube channel, right? Like, if that wasn't there, this YouTube channel would not exist because the YouTube channel is like 95% of it is, is me saying those words. Um, but just as those words written on my wall are not the many, many hours of recording of prayer that is now on this YouTube channel. Those many, many hours of recording of prayer are not ultimately the point. They're just, they're, they're the activities, the, 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 the processes that are tied to this. And so there is a, a genotype phenotype distinction there, but, but ultimately both of them are pointing to something far more ephemeral. So I don't know if that came out right, um, but it was only 11 minutes of my life, 11 minutes of your life. So uh, let me know what you think. Let me know how I can say this idea better, because uh, it's a very important idea to me. This is the first time I've tried to say it, really. It can be said a lot better. So uh, let's work on making it better. <laughs>